everybody, I'm Victoria from Cozy and Country here in partnership with Cozy Owl. We're back in my kitchen today to show you how to make your very own tea lights. And today we're going to put a little festive twist on them and they're going to be red, berry and holly scented. So let's get going. I have 800 grams of paraffin container wax. I have 10 tea light containers. I've also got my tea light wicks here. And my centering tools. We've gone for a red dye, which will go perfect with the red berry and holly scent. We also have our glue dots, an electric weighing scale, and our melting pot with wooden spoon. So take your melting pot and pop it onto the measuring scale. For this, I'm going to measure out around 200 grams of the container wax here. Uh, I worked out that that would work out perfectly for my tea lights, and it would probably leave a little bit of wax left over as well. All measured up get your wax onto a medium heat and keep coming back giving it a good stir around just to make sure that it does melt evenly um, and also don't forget your thermometer keep that on the side and check your temperatures all the way through um, let your wax get to around 65 degrees and then you're going to want to look at letting it cool down before you do anything else to it while the wax is melting, let's get the wicks popped into the containers. So, using your glue dots, peel off one side and stick it to the bottom of the wick and peel off the underside. And then stick it into the centre of the container. Now, it is marked up in the container so you can see clearly where they need to be stuck. So, and then I just use these wick centering tools. Now, I don't actually pop the wicks into them. I just lean them up against and just try and keep them as central as possible. I don't want them to be going into a different direction. So, returning to the wax, mine has been left to cool down for about five minutes. Um, so, I'm just going to quickly check the temperature. And you want your temperature to be around 65 degrees uh, before you start doing anything else with it. And then I'm going to put in my dye. So I have the red dye here and I'm going to put in about half of this. Uh, so I've got the three gram pack here, so I'm just going to put about half of that in. Uh, just because the wax is a smaller measurement than normal, um, I don't want to kind of overflow the wax with the dye. So give it a good stir around and make sure the dye melts completely into the wax. Uh, and now your dye has melted completely. Uh, I'm just going to put in around 10 ml of this fragrance. Uh, just because I have used 200 ml of the wax, uh, so I think 10 ml should be a good distribution for the wax. So then giving it a good stir around and make sure everything has mixed in nicely. You want a nice even mix with this. Uh, so just mix until you're happy with it. And then once you are happy with it, you can start pouring. I like to pour my wax anywhere between 50 and 60 degrees uh, just because I find that when I pour it a little bit cooler it isn't as messy it comes out of the pourer a little bit slower um, so it is loads easier if you're pouring it into a small container um, and then you want to leave them overnight just to set once your tea lights are all set you want to return and take off your centering tools and then I'm just checking that mine are all central and they look good to me so I'm going to trim them to about 5mm, giving them a really good burn and then the wicks won't drown in the melted wax either. So there you go. 